and we back. Today we have to win five championships in a row without playing any defense. Okay, that's not completely true. But I have to use players that 2K deems as below average defenders. Because let's be real, if I went to put everybody perimeter defense, interior defense down to a zero, not only are we not winning no championships, we are not winning a single game. So we can only take below average defenders. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for the entirety of NBA 2K23. I'm gonna be giving one random person a jersey if I fail the challenge. And five rings? No defense? It's gonna be tough, so comment down below your Twitter. If we fail, winner gets picked one week after this video drops, so get in while you can. If you watch this video in year 2036, welcome. What the heck are you doing here? We're using it, the Charlotte Hornets today, fantasy draft style, and the Hornets have the, tw the 29th pick. Oh, man. All right, so be it. 29th pick in today's video. Now, this rebuild is gonna go against everything I normally do. I usually try to get at least one superstar player and surround them with good defensive players, and boom, you got yourself a recipe for somebody potentially winning an MVP, but also winning a championship. Today, the OG Adenobis, the Ben Simmonses, the Bam Adebayos, the players that we find ourselves trading for all the time, we can't trade for because they won't fit the challenge. Our team is DeMontis Sabonis, and by 2K standards, because, you know, 2K is not the most reliable source when it comes to NBA stuff, which is a wild thing to say, but it's true. He is a below average post defender, which means that if we wanted to keep Sabonis around, we could. K Cunningham is average, so we would have to trade K no matter what. Bobo is average. We got to trade him away. We only can do below average. Colin Sexton is below average. He could potentially stay. Herb Jones, you know what he about. <laughs> you know what Herb is about. He cannot stay around. Alec Burks is average. That, now, this has scared me a little bit because now I'm trying to, I'm, I'm realizing that not a lot of people in the current NBA, oh my God, O'Shea Brissett is bad defensively on the perimeter and in the post. There's not a lot of people in the league, huh, that are below average defenders. Okay, let's take a look at the, the best players in the league. Obviously, Giannis, Steph Curry is considered an average defender. LeBron is below, uh, above average. Luka is average. Um, Jokic... Jokic is an above average perimeter defender and below average post defender, but because he is above in one of the things, we can't trade for him. Zion. Zion might have to be the star of a video. Zion has to be the star of the video. He is the only guy in the top whatever that is considered a below average defender. I know Jimmy Butler's gonna be above. Shea Gibbs Alexander is above. Kawhi Leonard, why did I even look at that? We know that. Devin Booker should be at least average, yeah. So, um, Dame? Below average Dame. So maybe we put together a team that is Dame and Zion or something as our two players. The only problem is Dame is uh, 34 or 32 and we just a five-year challenge. So maybe we don't want to get him. Donovan Mitchell. Oh, man, bro. Our options are extremely limited. Trey Young. Yeah. I've added Trey Young to the list. Hey, if this is supposed to be a no defense challenge, Trey Young has to be a guy we talk about. You know what I'm saying? He has to be a guy we talk about. James Harden, 33 years old, though, so we'll pass on that. Bro, the list is, is not a long list. It is not a long list at all. All right, when it comes to the top echelon of players, the top five players with below average defense according to 2K is Zion, Dame, Trey, Bradley, and Cat. We need to get at least two of these dudes. I am actually really like the idea of keeping Sabonis around. He's, he's only 26 years old. The only problem is, I don't know what his progression looks like. If people progress to become plus defenders, I got to trade him away. Um, Sabonis is actually way further than that than I anticipated. I mean, he not go, he not going to hit a minus in five seasons. I mean, maybe he does, but I doubt he does. Luckily for us, we have Kay Cunningham, Bobo. These are valuable, valuable pieces. And I would assume my first round pick is going to be valuable too. Yeah. Oh my God. You see Cade's value? Yeah, this is great. And oh yeah. Okay. So let's go get Z, man. Let's go get Z. And then if we get Z... We should prioritize like a Bradley Beal or a Trey or, uh, you know, one of the guards. $13 million, $10 million there with Cade, $2 million there with Bowl. They say no, give them the first round pick. Simple. That, one, that might have been the easiest trade for a 92 overall I've ever experienced. Form a first overall pick, plus Bo Bo, the super freak, and then a first round pick out of Zion. And now we can use the rest, which is not a lie. You see this roster, to go get a um, a Bradley. I would, of course, rather have Trey Young. Oh, but you know what? Trey Young's overall has been dropping in 2K because he's been struggling to shoot in real life. Uh, so because of that... He might not be that crazy to trade for, that hard to trade for. Trey Finder, they're gonna want Z. Oh, they don't they don't even have an option. So that's not a good sign for us. So we'll just go in and try to get it done ourselves. $37 million. We gotta give them Colin Sexton. We'd have to give them Denny Abdia. Anybody else of value here? Dalen Terry, not so much. 
You want Herb too? Because again, we can't have Herb on his roster. So we'll give you Herb. You give us David Rout Roddy. And okay, contractually, all of that makes sense. Can we throw you two th to three first round picks to get the core of Z? Yeah, two first round picks. So the core is is Z, Trey Young is a bonus. And a we have to go out there and score a million points per if that's our core. We have to score a million points per. Okay, so now we got our star players. Now we got to start looking at role players that fit the challenge. Like, who is the best shooting guard that's considered a below average defender? It's probably going to be Zach Levine. We don't have the assets or the money to go trade for Zach Levine. Tyler Hero is probably on that list. Yep. We might have what it takes to go get Hero. His contract don't kick in to next season. And he has exactly five years on his deal, which means that, I mean, we trade for him now. We don't have to worry. He sits on our team for the entirety of this video. Anthony Simon. Oh, no. I ain't looked yet. I am positive that in 2K, Anthony Simon's defense is awful. A C. When the average is B+, plus, he's got a C defense, y'all. Like, I remember that because me and the homies did a league where it was an online fantasy draft, and I was so tempted to take him, but his defense was so bad that I, I was like, you know what? It's not even worth it for me to draft you because you just going to get toe up in online association. There's actually a good amount of shooting guards here. All of these four dudes, whether it be Jordan Poole, Anthony Simons, Jalen Green, Tyler Hero, are all considered below average defenders, which is good for us. So we got a nice, like, uh, amount of people that we could trade for. Anthony's deal is better than Tyler Heroes for them to be the same overall. So we'll probably go get Anthony. Even though Hero is a better defender, we still talk about bad defenders, so maybe that don't matter. Let's go try to get Anthony Simons, man. Let's, I, this might legit be one of the few times I've actually traded for Anthony in a video, if we pull it off, because we, we aren't, we don't have a lot of um, um, talent <laughs> in picks to make this happen. I'll give you my last two first round picks. I feel okay with that. You just have to agree to you just have to agree to it. You just, not Zion. You just have to agree to it. They don't. So let's go get some more first round picks because obviously what we're working with right now is not enough. We'll go sign PJ Tucker free agency. We'll flip him. Rudy Gay will flip him and so on and so forth. Give me a minute. I'm gonna make this team back nice and have a nice plethora of picks to throw at the Washington Wizards for Anthony Anthony Simons. I think it's always funny when I do that in 2K where I get an asset in the free agency and then use that asset to go get first round picks because you could have had pj tucker he was just sitting in free agency and instead you gave me a first round pick for him um hello take david roddy to hello four first for you oh no they bugging they're bugging they're bugging about okay i'm gonna try to do a reverse trade finder but right now they are tri i gave up i was trying to give up four first round picks to get him on the roster just because again he was a guy we never really trade for and, I mean, it's going to have to stay that way, I guess. We're going to go get Tyler Hero. or I mean, Tyler Hero has more value. So, if the other trade didn't work, then this one probably won't either. But I guess people prioritize different things. So, Romeo Langford, um, and then they'll save draft capital. You know what? You actually have the cap space to go, to take a Zubac in two. Two first-rounders, three first-rounders. I don't know how that was easier to do than the Anthony Simons one, but whatever. So, our star lineup right now. Is Trey Young, Tyler Hero, Zion, and Demontis Sabonis. That three position is what we got to figure out now. I, 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 I'm scared about this one. I'm be honest, I'm scared about this one. Michael Porter Jr., but the contract is too big. Trey Murphy's post defense is too good. Benedict Matherin is a guy. But you know what? It's not smart to trade for Benedict Matherin because 1,000%, he's going to progress to be a good defender in this game. So we just be pushing it down the line. So we'll, we'll pass on that. TJ Warren is on a minimum contract. That's an easy trade to pull off. And he plays for the 76ers. That's about as easy as it gets. Two and a half star value for him. We might be able to trade find it. Uh, you know what? We don't even need to trade find it. $1 million. We'll give you O'Shea Brissett. They want a first round pick. Okay, so we got TJ Warren. I don't want to start TJ Warren, but we got TJ Warren. I do not like the way this is going so far, though. You know what I'm saying? We got some cool names, some fun names to watch in real life. But I think the defense is going to be so, so bad that it won't be fun for anybody. I'm going to trade for D'Angelo Russell. Not because we want D'Angelo Russell on the team, but because he's making $31 million. And if I could go get some more first-round picks, I could use that $31 million to go get Zach Levine, potentially, and then then, then use Zach Levine at the three. And now our lineup is ridiculous. So D'Angelo Russell's our secret piece to go get something great, but now we got to trade like Rolo and Jetty Osman to get a first or something and continue to do that until we got enough assets that I think um, to get... Zach Levine, Walker Kessler is perfect as an asset. Obviously, he's, 
he's his defense is definitely gonna be above league average but like as an asset that's a pretty good trade it is time to try to pull it off i mean d'angelo russ why did i think i needed a million first round picks i keep forgetting that zach levine's overall is dropping in the game i did all of that to get all of these assets for for them to just say hey we won't ball ball marrow okay well, now we got Zach Levine at the three. So our star lineup is Trey Young, Tyler Hero, Zach Levine, Zion, and Sabonis. That's that's five, four all-star cal caliber, three all-star caliber players and some guys that might get there or ha have been there. This is good. And right, now the rest is trying to figure out um, the bench. We got Trey Jones. Even Trey Jones is looked as an, as an average defender right now. So we're going we're gonna to trade finding for the bench. And I'm just going to look at every single offer. And, and like, obviously, Dorian Finney Smith is above average. Jackson Hayes is going to have a, above average. Uh, Drummond is going to have average. Obi Toppin, below average. Below Cameron Payne, below average. Oh, man. Both on one year deals, so maybe we don't want to do that one. Um, but that's that's what we did. Kevin Porter Jr., below average. That's a good trade. Grant Williams will be above average. Never mind! Never mind! According to 2K, Grant Williams is a below average defender. We take this trade and not look back on it. That is a huge, huge pickup. Those two dudes can hoop. Th like, that's undoubtedly a really good trade for us. Um, so we'll take that. We have to move on from Trey Jones and John Conchar. I mean, well, technically, oh, yes, we do, because he's a good post defender. I was going to say, technically, we don't. But you see, we got four first round picks to move around. That, I, I got all those picks thinking that that's what we're going to need for Zach Levine. All right, so the star line is the same. Off the bench, we have Kevin Porter. Oh, should I show you that, that there's no funny business? Uh, B, C minus B. Um, then we got Isaiah Stewart, who's considered, of course, a below average perimeter defender, but a below average post defender. Move them over back to the center position, and boom, we might be small with 6'8. And then we also have 6'6 Grant Williams. I don't know if that's going to matter too much. Austin Reeves, below average defender, according to 2K. Good player, good shooter. And then PJ Washington, also below average, and a lot of the things. So our team is finally set. I feel like I've been here for 50 minutes. The team is finally set. First game of the season is a win, and this is what we're going to have to do. Just outscore people. Go put up 130s regularly. Triple double from some like just that's the goal. We lose our first one. Oh, Lonnie Walker was a guy I wanted to trade for, but his defense was too high. 32 points on no no rebounds, no assists is crazy. Okay, but I think based on that first week, we should be at least decent. Um, I guess we'll see if we'll win a championship. I'm not loving it so far. I usually like to see some dominance to start the season. But we'll take it. I mean, 10, 11 and 3 is not not sweet. Like, we're we doing some good stuff out here. So, we'll see how it lasts. Luka won MVP. We stopped him the other day. Go, go look at the video on the channel. We stopped this man from doing these type of things. But he did it in today's video. Um, The team was good, y'all. 62 wins. Defense doesn't matter. It's overrated. We had a 81 defense, which is terrible. That's bad. That's really bad. And we won it because the offense is a 99. <laughs> Anybody from the Charlotte Hornets make an all-NBA team? The answer is no. That's fine. Anybody from Charlotte making all defensive team, you knew that was going to be no. I wonder how we stacked up defensively, though, compared to the other teams in the league. So we were by far the best offensive team in basketball. We would just look at um, PPG per. When it comes to defense, we gave up the fifth, fifth most amount of points. So truly, we didn't play a lot of defense this season. We did it. But the offense was so elite. We put together such an elite powerhouse offensive team that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And I wonder who, who was our MVP. Trey Young averaged 23 and 11. Zach Levine, 18 and 5. Demontis Sabonis, it was the MVP. Only 12 points per, which is low-key kind of extremely low. But almost averaged a triple-double from the center spot. So I guess we'll take that. I expect him to get more rebounds. Z averaged 18 and, and 6 or 7. I forgot Z was even on the team. Is that crazy? Here we go. Going against the Boston Celtics in the first round. The Boston Celtics have Steph Curry. Yikes. Um, not a guy you want to see if you're playing no defense on the season. You know what I'm saying? He's guarded by Trey Young, and, and that's that's all you really need to know. Yeah, that's all you really need to know. Okay, game one is a loss. Game two is a loss. Um. Okay. Be down 3-1. It's not nothing that we can't overcome, team. It's not nothing we can't overcome. Steph Curry in the playoffs through these four games, averaging 41 and 11 on 50, 40, 95. Yeah. Am I about to give away my first jersey of NBA 2K23? Because are we about to lose this challenge right here, right now, in year one? The answer is, is not, not, not now. Not today. Not based on that game. Stop playing with the boys. I think if we could get past this, this, this team. Who fouled out? Z, you got to be better. 
You got to be better. 11 and 6 from Z is ridiculously bad. If we win this series against Steph Curry, wait, who's on these other teams? John ja Morant, yeah. We might have to go against John ja in the second round. Left, what am I thinking about second rounds for? We have to stop Steph Curry. Game six. Force this game seven, boys. Force this game seven. We're in TD Garden. That's a, that's a good start. Hold up. Keep it up. It's closer than you want it to be. But we won. Oh, my God. Okay. Here's the game seven. Here's the game seven, boys. This is what we we do. We play this game for. Here we go. Back at home, back in Charlotte. Got got our buzz up at Spectrum Arena. I think that's the name of it. We're, we're losing by ten with eight minutes to go. But now it's four with four minutes to go. Now it's the lead with three minutes to go. Now it's the lead with one minute to go. Now it's the lead when the game ended. Steph Curry did it again. Blowing another three-one lead, man. Kevin Porter Jr., wow, that's a, I mean, that's a terrible shoot tonight. Thank you, Trey Young. Thank you all. And now we have to face, what is it, John Morant now? Is this John Morant's team? The answer is yes. This is Josh's team. So we, we can't, this is year one and we're struggling. So that's not a good sign. But we might be able to get out of that one pretty easily. We do. To go against a seven-seeded Atlanta Hawks team to have Donovan Mitchell, Porzingis, and some shooters around them. Lonnie Walker, who, who beat us earlier in the video, if y'all remember that. Not ideal, but they're the seven seed. They've been beating teams, but like, how good could they potentially be? 2 1 us, 3 1 us, 3 2 us. Thank you. Dame, I almost traded for you. I almost traded for you, Dame. So they got Dame, Kelly Uber, Benedict Matthew, who I almost traded for too. Rob Williams with Jonathan Kaminga. I think we put together a better team than that. It was just Steph Curry. Next year, we got to look at that Boston Celtics team as a real threat. Steph Curry, we get past him. We had all the confidence in the world after that. And we get to go to see year two. Because if we if we would have lost that, it would have been tragic. This right here is the scariest part of the video. You know Zion's going to get better. But does he get better in the ways that we don't want him to get better? Does he become a good defender? The answer is better but not good enough. And that scares me though, because that just means on the same progressive system, he gonna be a B plus in no time. Trey Young, he was so far away from league average, he, he can progress all he want. Tyler Hero is almost there. Sabonis did not improve at all, so that's okay. Zach Levine didn't improve at all on the defense. Kevin Porter Jr., okay. So, so far everybody, oh, that's very close for Isaiah Stewart, but everybody has been improving, but not improving enough. We brought in Jalen McDaniels, He's not there defensively, but he can definitely shoot the ball. And then, yeah, that's our team. We drafted this guy in the middle of the second round. Do you care about him? Probably not. But he might be a stud in three seasons. Remember, this is a five-year challenge. John Murray wins MVP. Uh, we win a total of 63 games. But as you can see, our defense is better this year than last year. 84. Last year was an 81. So, you know, things are better. Sl slightly getting better. As time goes on, all NBA team for Z. Finally, we needed some type of love. He averaged 21 7 and shot it well, of course, because he's Zion Williamson. I'm waiting for the day that we get an all defensive player based on no stats. You know what I'm saying? Did we become a better defensive team? Actually, though, like, and, and practic practicality is that the word I'm looking for? And practicality. Are we, we're like league average, around league average, so, but our offense. <laughs> But the offense was eight points better than anybody else's when it comes to a point per game status. Three pointers made. We weren't even shooting a lot of threes because, well, we have Zion Williamson on the team. We had the highest three point percentage, but we got Zion Williamson on the team. So we didn't take a lot of them. And we got DeMonte Sabonis on the team. You know what I'm saying? We just scored effectively 21 points, 30 and 10 for Trey Young. He should have been an All NBA player too on 50, 40, 90. 21, 7 and 6 for Hero. DeMonte Sabonis, 12. Man, y'all better stop playing with these boys. They really here. What about the Celtics at? That's the only thing that's getting me. We might see y'all in the second round. We might see y'all in the second round. If y'all make it there. Because I feel pretty confident in our ability. We have to guard Joel Embiid. Uh, that might be a struggle. Only time will tell. Up 2-0 feels good. Up 3-0 feels good. Will we see Steph... Ooh. Will we see Steph Curry in the second round? The answer is no. It won't be Curry. But instead, it's Braun. Which is better to see in the, in a video like this. I don't know. Braun is a 95 with Franz Wagner. They got Rudy Gobert down there, but they got Christian Brown and DeLon Wright in their front backcourt. So I think we might be okay. Oh, LeBron had a struggle game. Man, fouled out in 16 minutes. What does that mean for LeBron James's legacy? Well, in the game two, he had a good one, 
but it don't matter because nobody can stop Z. 13 for 17 from the field. Okay, LeBron, we move you over to the side to go against. I want to go against CVP John Morant, but instead we got Shea De and DeJounte. That's a nice little backcourt right there. Now, we don't have no answer to stop both of those dudes. Again, the answer, our remedy for everything is outscore the other team, which I guess is how every team wins basketball games. But you get what I'm saying. We lose game one because we didn't outscore them. We actually lost by one. And game two, we win. Game three, we lose. Down 3-1 for the second time in the video. I should have automatically just go into every playoff series with the shortened rotation. That should just be my MO from, from every time. Who is it again? It's Shea, it's DeShante, and it's us down to our last loss. It's us down to our very last loss, man. Here we go. Charlotte, Milwaukee, and Milwaukee. It's not looking great, but the guys are fighters. The guys are fighters up by 10 in the fourth. That feels pretty good, pretty secure. And it ended up being a closer game than it needed to be, but a win is a win at the end of the day. Tyler Hero ended up with 12 assists, 13 rebounds, but he shot one for 12. At least he contributed in other ways because one for 12 is terrible in a game that's winner go home for us. Now we stay in Milwaukee and they start off the first quarter dominant. 28 points. Now it was a lot worse than that. It was like 21 to 5 it looked like or something like that. Yeah, this is not going as we wanted to. This is not going as we wanted to. The boys have let us down, ladies and gentlemen. Leave a like, comment down below your Twitter, and I guess I'm picking somebody. I guess I'm picking somebody because we failed. We gave up 42 points in the fourth quarter. Dang, that's, that's insane. But that's what you do when you have a no defensive team. Oh, man, I hate that. Because if I'm not mistaken, this is the first five championships butt video that we failed. We've done five championships, but no point guards, no centers, only shooting three-pointers, no shooting three-pointers, only dunking. And this is the first one we've lost. And it's because defense wins championships. They, they've said it for as long as basketball has been a sport since Mr. James Neesmith Neesmith from Canada created this sport. It always been a sentiment that defense wins championships. And we got no defense. I'm going to try to redeem myself. But the challenge is lost. Oh, and the, and the Celtics also have the number three pick in this year's draft. So they they have Steph Curry and something else coming into this draft. I'm going to try to redeem myself at least go one more season because I, I can't lose on an L even though we technically lost the challenge. I cannot lose on an L. That is against my character. All things considered, though, I thought we put together a good team for the challenge. I mean, we got the best non-defensive players in basketball on one, one roster. I thought we did a pretty good job. Um, but apparently it wasn't good enough to win multiple and now we about to go into player progression and uh go through that whole scare period where we don't know what's gonna happen with the progression of our players okay z doesn't get better there tyler hero does get better defensively you don't like nobody really got better defensively trey young did but again he's so far away that it doesn't matter okay so we we feel fine we're good we don't have a a player that that got too good for the challenge i think that if this is going to be my last year i gotta go make sure that we win it so i'm gonna trade for Jalen brunson the last year of his deal Gave up Isaiah Stewart, but that gives us an opportunity to trade Kevin Porter Jr. and one of these draft picks from the Pelicans to go get another center because we gave up Isaiah. And yeah, I, I got to make sure that this is our I, this has to be our year. This has to be our year. A at least two of three to walk out of here with our heads somewhat high. We can go get Val. Ugh, he's 32 years old. But again, it's only one year, so maybe we shouldn't care that he's 32 years old. But I feel like there might be better options out there on the market. Oh, oh, you want to go get Marvin Bagley? Oh, no, Alperin Sengun. 100% is Alperin Sengun. Boom. And I even think that um, Obi Toppin, we saw earlier, might fit the challenge too, right? He does. So, okay. We feel we feel okay about that. I might even make Grant Williams a small four. What does that do to us overall? Um, nothing. Cool. Okay, so now we have Hero. Okay, the starting lineup is the same, but instead we got Brunson, LP, Obi, and Grant Williams um, getting that those last bit of minutes there. This is a better roster than I think last season. Hopefully we have a better result. Uh, starting off 0-2 is wild. Uh, starting off the first two weeks, 500 is wild. I just, I need something. I need a consolation prize. I need a, at least you tried so something. I, can't, I don't like failing. James Harden is a six man of the year um, in Denver. I can be forgetting how far we are into the video. We three years in, so I guess he's probably regressing. 61 wins this year round, and we got, that's us, right? And we got executive of the year for the Jalen Brunson trade, I'm assuming. Charlotte. Anything? The answer is yes. We got Z. 
Charlotte, not a defensive team, and obviously no rookie team. Here we go. One seed once again was was our deep. Cause you know what's crazy? Last year's team was better defensively than the first year team that won the championship. It's just does it doesn't make sense. Defensively, we ended up being like we're gonna be around league average again. The answer is uh, yeah, around there, around there. Offensively though. Are we just dominant? Yep, we're about 11.9 points better than anybody else in basketball. Our point differential is 15, baby. The Bucks and the Pistons are kind of scary. They close to us. And we got to go against at least one of those teams, maybe in the second round. We might have to go against both of those teams eventually. So here we go. Cleveland Cavaliers have RJ as their best player. I feel pretty good about our matchup against them um, with RJ being their number one. And we get out of there to go against the Detroit Pistons. Okay, here we go. So they have Phillip Hampton. Don't ask. No idea. No idea. Jalen Suggs, Larry Market, and Evan Mo yeah. Oh, my God. Is that three seven-footers? How tall is this Phillip kid? How tall is Phillip? Because he looks like a guy, without me looking, he looks like a guy that will be 6'7". He's 6'6". Six, six. I, just, I just know 2K creations. I just know it. So they got 6'11", 6'6", 7'3", 7'foot, 7'foot, what did I, 6'7", and then six. they have length out of this world. Are they, wait, they point differential was crazy. Was it because of their defense? Let's see, points given up, yup, they were the best defensive team in basketball. Okay, well in game one we won, defense, yeah, their offense not that great, and their defense obviously not as much as good as it thought that, you know what I'm saying. 128 points is pretty good for our boys, game two is a win, oh. Did I hype this team up? Look at me gassing them up for no reason. All right, here we go. To get some Milwaukee Bucks, again, their point differential was insane too. Oh, yeah. I remember y'all. I remember y'all. Y'all made a little change, didn't y'all? Because wasn't it wasn't it DeJounte last season? Y'all made a little change. Huh. Should we be worried? Should we be worried about y'all? We about to see. Game one is a loss in overtime. It's funny because in real life, Overtimes don't even be having a lot of points. In real life, overtimes will be like five to three. And 2K, this had to go to double or triple overtime. No way you put up 27 points in five minutes of regulation overtime over over overtime. So um, I'm assuming that was a double triple overtime game. Huh. Two quarters where we gave up 40 plus points. Tari Eason, shout out to him. Found out his mom follows me on Twitter. Randomly, right? He just follows me on Twitter. Also, Kevin, uh, uh, Michael Porter Jr.'s dad follows me on Twitter. Not the actual players, but the, the people that created the players. Kind of cool. Um, I'm just going to chalk this up as an L. Oh, or should we not? Or should we not? Or should we not? Uh, I hate when, when teams give me false hope. I hate when they give me false hope. Down 0-3 to force a game 7 just to lose. Yeah, de defense, yeah, it does win championships. Leave a like, subscribe, comment down below your Twitter if you want to be in the sweepstakes to potentially get this jersey I'm giving away. Hate that it had to be this way, but it is what it is.